hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video whatever made you choose to do so today is thrift flip day or trash to treasure whichever one you want to call it so i picked up a lot of items over the past couple months just thrift shopping and antique shopping and i have a lot of items that i found that i loved and just wanted to keep and then some that i wanted to kind of put my own spin to it and give it some new life so today we're going to be doing three thrift flips and this is my first thrift flip video i'm so excited for how this is going to turn out and to see them transform so let's get into it so you have already seen all of these items that I'm going to show you in my last thrift shot with me video and you saw that I got this beautiful arch mirror. Um, I actually didn't get this thrift shopping, I got this off of Facebook Marketplace. A while ago, Target had this mirror, this arched mirror from the Opal House collection, and it was cream and had like a gold trim on it, and I really wanted to have that mirror, but it sold out so quickly. So when I saw this, I thought it would be perfect to kind of give that same look or that same trick. I picked up this spray paint. It's like a cream color, and it's called Ivory Silk, and it's in a satin color. I was going to put this on the outside trim of the mirror. I like to reuse these styrofoam cups to rest the items that I'm painting on with edges. This way I'm able to paint the edges without it touching the ground. So I put the mirror on top of these and I applied two coats of the cream spray paint. Now I wasn't a fan of how the spray paint was sticking to the wood. So I went back in with two coats of a tan chalk paint that I had on hand and I actually used this in the next DIY that I'm going to show you as well. Once that was dry, I applied this antique gold rough and buff around the trim of the mirror with a small brush and then I rubbed in some areas as well because it's kind of like a wax metallic finish and it's a little bit thicker. And then once that was dry, the mirror was done. shelf that I got and you can see it has some paintings it's actually a really beautiful painting up here and I got this for five dollars at the thrift store and I wanted kind of to give this a Chinese stool type of effect like if you've seen these type of stools they kind of have this tapered legged effect and their wood is kind of this very cool gray tone stain and they're a little bit beaten up so I thought that I would kind of make it look a little bit vintage and antique style and then stain it and seal it on top. I got this driftwood stain and it kind of has a gray undertone to it. I got this furniture refinisher from Lowe's I believe and this is something that I've seen that you can use on on antique furniture to kind of take off the paint or the stain that's already on there and to refinish it back to its natural wood so I'm going to use this and then once that is done I'm going to stain it with this drift wood I applied the furniture refinisher with the Brillo pad. The instructions say to use steel wool, but I didn't have any on hand, so this is what I used. So I just scrubbed it off, and you can see that the paint was coming off very easily. But it was at this point that I realized that the wood was actually particle board and not real wood. So that meant I couldn't actually stain it. So I had to go back to the drawing board and kind of research ways that I could give this a wood look without it actually being wood change of plans so i found a tutorial on pinterest where you can make particle board look like real wood or give it like a faux wood look and so i picked up two different chalk paints and a true gray color and then a light gray and then i picked up a tan chalk paint color and 
antique wax. And I'll link the tutorial in, that I found in the description box down below so you guys can check it out too. Now I'm going to layer on the two different colors, the light gray and the tan. I originally had got this light color that I was going to use, but I think I'm just going to mix the original gray that I used with some white to make it a lighter version and then dry brush that. And then we're going to use the tan right after we do the gray. Now you want to take this dry brush, I think it's called a chip brush. You want to dip it in your mixture and then wipe it off so that it's super dry. And then kind of brush it on there like so. Next, I applied this antique wax and I used a softer bristled brush and we're going to be doing the same dry brush effect except you'll rub off the excess with a paper towel and really blend in the wax and this is really going to help it look more like wood because it's going to start giving it a brown tint. door credenza from the thrift store for $55 and I've been looking for something like this to use as a TV stand for quite a while now and I scored when I found this and it's actually in pretty good shape it has a reddish chocolate brown tone and the doors are frosted and the legs are these metal sterling silver the first thing that I was going to do is remove all of the doors, but I actually found out that I could not do it because they were attached to the top and the bottom and you weren't able to easily unscrew them without removing those. So instead, I just removed the glass from all the doors, which was pretty difficult considering that the screws were so small. It took me quite a while to unscrew these. And then I also removed all of the knobs and the magnets on the doors. And the first thing I did was do a scuff sand down. So I sanded down the outside. I use a tack cloth, which is kind of a sticky cloth that you can use to remove any debris or dust after sanding. Once I wiped all that down, I went in with my favorite primer and I primed the outsides with this and this will really help give it a smooth, clean application. So I applied these to all of the outsides, including the doors. Once I did that, I went in and I used my drill to drill in four holes on the back of the credenza and then I use my jigsaw to cut out a little hole for our cords and this will actually really help the cords just feed through. And then I went in with my favorite black paint from Shara Williams and it's in tricorn black and it's a satin finish. And so I applied about three coats of that to all of the outsides with a foam roller. And then I went in with the insides of the doors and the areas that were a little bit harder to reach. You can actually dye your primer so that it can be close to the color that you're using. I could have gotten a primer that was a little bit darker 
thicker. That way I could have used less coats of the paint that I actually use. I also painted the insides and also the shelves that were in there with the tricorn black just to make sure that it matched. Once that dried, I actually sanded it down with a 400 grit sandpaper to make sure that any brush strokes or anything that happened during the first application was smoothed out. And then I went in with my second coat and then my third coat. Once that was finished, I applied three coats of a water-based polyacrylic and this will really help to make sure that the paint will last and that's durable. Once all of that dries, or I reattached the glass to the doors and then I replaced the knobs with these black sleek modern knobs that I also used in my kitchen that way it can kind of tie in the living room with the kitchen and I really loved how this turned out It's in my living room right now and I have it designed and styled for Christmas and it really kind of brought the space together and the Christmas decorations just really set the mood and I loved how this turned out I am so happy with how all of these projects turned out. They look so great. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. If you like these type of videos, please let me know in the comments. If you haven't checked out my thrift haul video, I will link that down below so you can see all of the items I got and potential thrift flips coming soon. I have so many new woodworking projects and major room makeovers coming soon that you guys, I am so excited to share with you. So if you are not already subscribe and you like these type of videos please consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification right next to it so you're notified every time I post my kitchen makeover came out so I have a lot of renter friendly kitchen decor ideas that I did in there I have another IKEA hacks video that's coming out very soon I'm so excited to get started on that and to share the process with you guys I'm also going to be sharing some projects on my Instagram so if you've not already followed me there I'll leave my Instagram name down here on the screen so you can go ahead and follow some things I'll be sharing on there and then I won't be sharing on my YouTube channel so if you want to see more DIY content you can go over there and follow me there and that is all that I have for you guys today thank you for watching and I will catch you in my next one bye